Hey guys, welcome back to Farside Server, and uh, I have a little bit of a thing that I just realized that I think I might have to fix, and that is the fact that um, right now I have the witch farm off, and my power rail is still going, so one thing I'm thinking I might have to do hmm, is find out a way to... Um, Turn this off, this rail off, whenever there's not, um, whenever my switch upstairs is off. But the only thing wrong with it is, hmm, hmm, I don't know how I would exactly do it though. Because if this goes off, this whole thing's gonna go off. And what I don't want to happen is I don't want this to be coming down here and this rail be off and then it stop right here. And then when I turn it back on, it doesn't go on. Like, I want it to be seamless, so I don't really have to do anything. You can't really hear the uh, minecart because I have... Uh... Why can't you hear the minecart? Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Just a quick log unlog. Um, you didn't even notice, did you? You didn't even notice. What was I doing? I was going to... No, music and sounds, because this should be at, like... 15. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, you know what? Let me talk about like a little bit of real life stuff first. Uh, so I got my Christmas present from my mommy, uh, from my parents, because they still give me Christmas presents, because that's how my mom is. She just, like, I don't know. Yeah, so anyways, they gave me $250. Uh, it, like I had said before, they are going to give me a $250 new aid card, but um, she for some reason couldn't remember the website or something so she just wrote me a check for 250 bucks instead so um what i'm gonna do with that is i think i'm kind of getting fed up with my mouse and keyboard um so i'm thinking i'm gonna get an actual good mouse and keyboard and then um like you can't see that <laughs> and then uh i'm gonna get the blue yeti i'm assuming which is kind of good that she gave me a check instead of new egg because amazon's actually been having sales on the blue yeti and that the new that new egg hasn't been, so I might be able to actually get it cheaper from going Amazon the new egg. Um, but we'll have to see. And then um, I want to get a pop filter, I think, and then a shock mount. Um, I'm not gonna get an arm because I don't want an arm, but I think you can get shock mounts that I can just set on my desk. And then uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about what I'm thinking about trying to do. Maybe not all today, but over the next couple episodes. Uh, which would be... I have this, obviously. It sorts the items as... <clears throat> uh, right? It sorts the items as it comes down from the witch farm. You know, I'm going to go kill that uh, minecart real quick. Let's kill it. Minecart, come here. Oh, you're going the other way. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay. Got it first try. Look at it. Really? Come on! No! Okay, gonna have to put... Oh, I hate doing that. Now I gotta go... Now I gotta go... God, now I gotta cook it up. And then we gotta replace it, because I want it to all look good down when I'm down there. Oh my gosh. Look what happens. Oh, what? what? Hmm. How did that block get there like that? Hmm. Yeah. So, anyone is if anyone else that's watching has a witch farm, have you guys been like lately having issues with the sand disappearing on this system? If you use the same system as I have, there's there's the sand uh, keeps disappearing and my pistons keep disappearing, and I'm pretty sure it's not a far sider coming in and messing with it. I feel like it's just literally disappear, like glitching out and disappearing. But anyways, what I wanted to do was. I want to make an actual storage system. Um, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if I necessarily want to do it right here below it, uh, below the witch farm like this. I think I want to do it somewhere else. Um, and so what I'm kind of thinking about doing is making more, more with this to where, hmm, how would I do that? Well, you know what? Once these all get completely full, we think about this once this all gets completely full this would get completely full 
which in turn means this would get completely full. So once this all gets completely full, uh, then they won't drop down anymore. So then they'd go into this bucket right here. So what I would like to do is take, take the items that end up here in this chest, take those and reroute them to go to a storage room is what I'd like to do so that I could, um, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but so that I can just, if I'm up top and let's say I want to just get rid of stuff, right? My inventory is full or maybe I'm building stuff or I just want to get rid of things. What I can do is I can literally just throw them down the chute and then the minecart will come by, you know, eventually. Eventually the minecart will come by and then it will pick it up, dispense it down in here. It will find that it's not one of these items and then it will uh, obviously go to this chest and then go to a storage room. Um, I want to make it look good, so that's why I'm saying I don't want to do it right here because right above here is the track and everything. So, um, I need it to go someplace. Now, I can't decide how I want to do that. There's multiple ways I could have this go down into a um, dispenser with ice and water and have it just throw it, you know, throw it somewhere. Like, like yeah. Or I could just, I'm only at Y29, 28 here. To where I could, you know, Y27, that means Y26 right there. I could go down like 10 blocks and build it all down there. Uh, but, you know, I don't know yet. I need to really get an iron, now that I think of it though, I should get an iron golem farm going. So that I have a lot of iron golem, um, a lot of iron golems. <laughs> no, a lot of iron to make hoppers. So, uh... But that's what I'm going to work on today, is I'm going to at least start building it. Maybe I'll just build, dig out the area, make the chests, maybe decorate it, and then we can put the hoppers in when needed. Um, you know, once I get an iron golem farm going. But, uh, oh, get that off. Uh, so I'll start working on that, and uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of progress. Looks like a normal wall, right? Just... Well. Not so much. Boop. Look at it. Woohoo! Boom. So this is gonna be the, I love I love these blocks. This is gonna be the way down to my uh, storage room. I haven't decided yet if I want to go that way. I'm thinking maybe that way. Just and then uh, then you just to get back up. Right now it's just a ladder going back up. And then when you're done, done down there, you just uh, find the button. You can find the button. Find the button. There you go. Boom boom. Closes right back up. So. That is, uh, that's gonna be the access way to the storage room. Uh, let me show you guys exactly what's going on back there. Um, so if we just break these blocks right here, and, uh, and for now, that one. And we go back here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it really is. This is, so this is the block with the button on it. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this, but just in case someone doesn't know, I don't think I need that block there. Do I even need this block? I don't think I need that block either. No, no, that one's to block that uh, when this is open. But what ends up happening is when you have a stair like that, so that but the, the one I was pushing, right-clicking through, is this block right here. But as you can see, when if you see on the high, right at right around the block, you can see that when I'm on these three portions of the block, you can see it highlights the block to where when you go through it like that right there, through this one little squ um, square, you can see that it unhighlights it. So you can, so you essentially are pushing, that block isn't registering, so you can push this button right here uh, when the stair is like this. So that's what ends up happening. You push this button then, and then it ends up going to T flip flop. T flip flop then gets activated right here. Uh, we need to put this one back right here here because it's ugly um t flip flop then gets activated and then we have a uh these two right here are controlled just by single pistons this piston and then there's one below it right there uh those both just get activated and then this one there's these two and then right below it too is another two set of pistons which those these are the double piston extenders which those push these two blocks so th they go they go from being right here to one closer 
No. No. These two, yeah, double piston. These two end up being right here, like, like in this square, and then this square. So those end up going right there. So that closes off this wall. And then I need this one to come this one to come up here in this empty space. So then I have another piston that goes right there. And then this one right here, I, I push two. Um, I don't know why necessarily I pushed that one. It probably doesn't need to be pushed. But it was just in the way. When I was climbing up, I was like, oh, I need to get rid of that one. So let's pull it away. Which, really, I guess I can just have it empty. But whatever. <laughs> um, but this double piston extender goes off the whole fact of uh, 0, 4, 2. So what ends up happening is this light turns on, right? Which really, or this line turns on, which doesn't do anything. But then this line turns on, which pushes these two. And then when these, when this one gets pushed, when this one pushes these two, this line's on, so then this one gets pushed because that one will be right there. So it ends up putting the block right there. Then when you turn it off, this light, this light, this light goes off. This light turns off, so it retracts this. When this light go, when this line goes off, it retracts this piston. And then what ends up happening is then this one retracts, which retracts this piston. And then two ticks later. This one retracts, which re retracts this. So if we look at this, just real quick. I'll try to see if I can show it to you real quick. Let's just take that off so it doesn't mess anything up. See, pushes, pushes. Retracts, retracts, and then retracts. <laughs> That's kind of it's kind of fast, but if you really want to see it more in depth, you can look up a tutorial on it. Um, so yeah, that's what ends up happening. Like I said, I don't need to push that one. So if we just look at this, it makes... Makes this flush so no one knows the storage area is there. Come in here. Push the button. If we can find it. There you go. This pulls everything back and then we just drop down. We go on to the um, slime blocks. And then we can go into the storage room and we want to go back up. We just climb back up. So that's what uh, that's, that's, that's going to be. And then, um, like I said, I don't know... Which way I want to build it yet, but I'm thinking I might just go right underneath here so that I can just, whatever goes in here, I can just drop down into another hopper down there, and then it can sort it through there. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you guys the door because I have it done. But we have another thing going on where I have two people that want my supplies right now. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, vodka, or can I have a, I was going to supply all my things to so that he because these are obviously potions things for potions right all of this stuff and i guess vodka is opening his uh turn on turn on uh vodka is opening his um his all his pub backup which i was not aware he's doing that on this map but he is asking if i would like to supply him and he's gonna pay me more than caniva uh, I have a deal with Caniva going on right now, uh, to where I, he's, he's asked me if I'd supply him and I've told him I would, but now, you know, we might have to have a little bit of bidding war, bidding war here. Uh, we'll see what happens. I just thought I'd show you guys that because I've been showing you that in my episode, or you guys have been seeing that in my, in the episode. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the ravine. This is all the redstone back there. And, um, this is the collection. So like I said, oh, and then. Just to make this look pretty when it's retracted, those go right there. So uh, we're going to have to figure out exactly what it is that I want to uh, do down there. If we can find this. There we go. Boop. <laughs> I love it. It's just hidden away. Right there. So that dark pixel, when you're standing up to it, it's, it's, it's right on this dark pixel when you're right, right here. It's just that dark pixel. Right around this dark pixel somewhere. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Dark pixel. There you go. All right, so had to decide what it is we want to do. So I went uh, running by my witch farm, and there were some glitched out on the witch, <laughs> on the spawn pads, and they about killed me. Let's see if they're still there. Are they still there? Oh, there's one. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, okay. Thank you guys, but that probably means they're regenning. <laughs> A witch fight! Witch fight! Oh yeah, look at that witch fight! Mm -hmm. They're throwing harming at each other. Oh, he's healing now. And what about you? You are dead. What, any more of you? Oh yeah, you're here, you're here. Get away. Yes, perfect. 
But I had... What are you doing? Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. What you doing? But there were like... I See, I don't understand what keeps happening up here. Sand, 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 sand. All the sand is there. See, so if I, what happens if I, if I run across, does it fix them? See, it doesn't fix it all. Hmm. Oh, it did fix them all. See, what ends up happening is they end up, see, up there too. They end up like, something's happening with, and it's just, this is just recent too. It, ooh, that's close. Um, that they, they end up, uh, it's annoying that it's just starting to happen. What ends up, ooh, got it. Sweet. Did that fix them all? Okay, fix them all, but that one, did that fix them all? Yeah, fix them all. See, what ends up happening is that, th this is what ends up happening. See, they stand down here, and then they, they're there for longer than they're supposed to be, and this is what ends up happening, is that happens, and then there's nothing to correct that system. So then next time one of them spawns on it, 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 it even if it spawns on it correctly, hmm. They end up standing there. What ends up happening? And then they don't move. And then it breaks it like that. And, uh... See, that worked fine. But that's what ends up happening, is they keep doing that. Ah. So, a couple of us... Let me turn on this mob sound while we're here. Hostile mob. So, a couple of us made a witch... A witch spawn... XP, XP farm. A little while ago. And, uh, I haven't been to it yet. This is my first time. I just want to repair my tools and stuff. And I'm gonna do finish this episode off repairing and uh, enchanting, doing some books. But uh, look at look at that bow. That's a nice bow. Uh, I have another. I have a power four book where let's see. I haven't even looked at it. how much does this cost. Only eleven levels to make that power five. Man, this the the com combination thing like this is really ridiculous. Look at this. This is why I brought you guys here real quick. Efficiency four on breaking three. Combine that to make that 14 levels for an efficiency 5 on breaking 3. But that's not what's ridiculous. This is what's ridiculous. One level. One level to repair this entire thing. Efficiency 4 on breaking 3 repair for one level. All day, every day. I'll do that all day, every day. And what's even weirder is this one has same stats but silk touch. Three levels. Like... This, the, the repairing is way underpowered, I think, in my opinion now. Um, but, uh, it's nice to have a use for lapis, but, uh, I think they can make it a little bit less powerful. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and re I repaired that. I'm gonna repair, I gotta repair that still. Um, get some of my sticks out. We gotta repair the other pickaxe, so I don't want an efficiency five. I'd rather want two efficiency fours at this point. Which let's see if the, let's see if we get the same thing with this one. One level. See this one's three levels now. What that it's I I just don't get it. It's so weird. Like why was the other one one level? I mean it's the exact same chance. This one I'm actually uh, has more durability left on it than this one had. But. Three instead of I don't I don't understand like that confuses me that right there confuses so me. guys we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and finish I've, I've been combining my bows you know I I don't like it when people don't combine their bows because then your chest just gets full of crap partly you know bows so we're gonna go ahead like I said we're gonna do an enchant we're just gonna do one and we'll leave it with that for the day three. So let's see what we got. We got a looting, a looting two on a book. Bane of Arthropods, our efficiency one. Uh, let's see what we get with that. Ugh, looting two, power three. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how fast we can get another level here. I haven't tested this part yet. How long does it take to get from twenty-seven? It didn't seem like it was that much to get from twenty-seven to thirty, but we're out. We're out. So, anyways, guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that for this episode. So, I let's turn the mobs on. It just sounds like so. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Here. Come on. Mobs. Come on. Do I sound like completely dead or what? 
Cause it just sounds like it just sounds like dead in the background, doesn't it? It is. There we go. Man, there's been some really weird glitches for me. I feel like in this latest snapshot since we've updated. I know it's a snapshot, so but I just feel like it's my sound like that right there. That's happened several times today already. Let's see if we can get up. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna sit here and do some more enchanting while I go do some things. AFK here, so. Like always, guys, my name's Cluster, and I thank you guys for watching. Dream big.